the only time that your failures are really failures is if you let them beat you down. I want you to think about the most inspiring person, your hero, the person who comes to mind where I say, who is your hero? And I bet if you went back in their story, they would have a time where they were at their lowest point. They would have the time where they tried something and risked something and failed. But in that moment, in that failure, in that time when they tried and they risked and they lost, something happened that made that lowest point in that failure actually lead them to be the person that you look up to. They learned something, they made a connection. And so when you're facing your failures, when you're at the lowest point, you have two options. You can let that challenge and that failure and those risks stop you, crush you, keep you from becoming the person you need to be. Or you can say, I'm gonna learn from this. I'm gonna grow through this. I'm gonna do whatever it takes. I talk to a lot of entrepreneurs and a question I like to ask them at a certain point when they're comfortable with me is what are you afraid of? And it's really, really interesting because for the most part, people are afraid that they can't do it, that they don't have it, that it's not gonna work. They're afraid to fail because of what it says about them. And the thing about a failure though, a failure can be the thing that crushes you and that stops you, or that failure could be the thing that opens up your eyes, that wakes you up, that makes you realize that you spent all of your effort going one way when you should be going a different way. When that big failure comes, that embarrassing thing happens, and it shows you, you know what? I have never been good enough. Or that failure could be the thing that you tried and that didn't work, but you learned something about yourself. You made a connection or built a new relationship or that thing that you thought would go one way turned into another. I know for me, you know, like in my business, the greatest learnings, the greatest drives is when I realize that I have done something to fail. When I've let my team down and I'm the failure to my team, then I make the changes in the people or the processes or the hiring practices or the investments that I need to make. When I realize that something we have done has let a client down and I failed the client, and when I realize that my marketing is, is failing the growth of the company, I immediately focus on that very thing to get this thing fixed. But it's only in the failure, it's only in the pain, it's only in the eye-opening uh, awakening that comes from realizing that, that things aren't as hunky-dory as we thought they were. That's when you have the two choices. You have the choice to walk away, to hide, and say, I tried and I failed. What does that say about me? In the negative, right, you're a loser. Or you have the opportunity to learn from it and then look back and say, it says that I'm the type of person who keeps going. I'm the type of person who learns. I'm the type of person who tries and learned along the way and take responsibility for the things that didn't work and make sure that you don't do them again. And I, I see this in people. I see someone who is open to risk, tries and fails, and it seems to me like they brushed it off. I don't see them late at night crying. I don't see them uh, you know, having to console worried investors. I don't see any of that stuff. But suddenly they're back the next day or a few days later and they're on to what's next, facing the next challenge and I look up to that person. And so I want you to ask yourself, I want you to think about the failures that you've had, the bigs and the littles. I want you to think about the number of risks you're willing to take and what you're willing to put on the line. And I want you to think about what it says about you to take the risk and put yourself out there, to have the failure happen right to your face and to feel it and to eat it and then to use that as rocket fuel to drive you to what you're really capable of and not let that get you down. What does that say about you? That's the person that I want you to be. That's the person that I wanna live up to being every single day. And that only comes from putting yourself in a position to fail, embracing the failure, learning from it, and then getting better. If sales and marketing and scaling your business is important to you, be sure to subscribe to my channel or check out this video right over here.